Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry, and this is our Music Minute, where we're taking a look at the hymns we'll be using in worship tomorrow on the second Sunday of Easter. And we're going to go in order today. I know, Easter must have knocked me over the head. So we're going to start with our gathering hymn, Christ Has Risen, Alleluia. This is a Swahili hymn that's actually a little older than you might think. It comes from 1966. And it was translated, I believe, into the English version that we sing in 1969. Uh, it actually follows the East African call response kind of thing. So there's a, um, a verse that tells a story, and then there's a sort of exuberant refrain that follows each of those. And it's five verses that takes us to tell this story. The tune comes from the Haya people of Northwestern Tanzania. It's a fairly easy tune for assemblies to sing. I think folks really like it, and it has a lot of percussive action to it. So this is Christ Has Risen, Alleluia. the percussive action for sure and tomorrow we'll have a little bit of percussion to go with us while we're singing all right next will be the hymn of the day and that is the risen christ the risen christ was written during the gathering of the hymn society in the united states and canada and the author wanted more diversity in easter hymns that's really why this came about and most easter hymns they felt were written with easter sunday in mind that was not the case for this particular hymn. This hymn looks at the then and now. So there's the history and then how it pertains to our life today. And you will note that specifically in the text of the fourth and last or fifth stanzas of this particular hymn. And um, they also wanted in the text to allow for personal takes, personal positions and understandings. So really this is an applicable song with texts that really appeal to each individual person as they sing it. So this is the risen Christ.
tune. I really like that one. And last but not least for our sending hymn tomorrow will be that Easter day with joy was bright. And this actually reflects stanzas 9, 11, 12, and 13 of a 13 stanza hymn. Again, you'll be glad to know there are not 13 stanzas any longer. Uh, this is actually originally paired with a different tune, and that's what appeared in our LBW, the Lutheran Book of Worship. The ELW puts it with Puer Nobis, which is maybe more closely associated with Christmas, um, as Jordan's Banks Baptist cry, but uh, it works really well for this as well. The tune comes from a manuscript of the 15th century. So this is That Easter Day with Joy Was Bright. I'm going to switch over to the piano for this one. Maybe a tune that you recognize from either Christmas or Easter. So we thank you for joining us this evening. Hopefully you learned something that you didn't know before you came. If you're coming to join us with worship tomorrow, that will be in person at 830 and 11. And if you are coming online, that's at 11 o'clock on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great evening.